Hey guys, welcome back to channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep subscribing, liking, commenting, watching everything that you guys do. Never goes unnoticed. I am very, very grateful. Hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed. Uh, find us on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse. Head there, say hi, we'll say hi back. Vlogging channel Fanny and Jesse 2.0. Subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out. So today I'm going to be reacting to Dave Chappelle, why terrorists won't take black people as hostages. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. I'm serious. This one time racism saved my life, man. I was, I was on a plane. <laughs> I, I, was coming, I was coming from overseas and uh, I don't know how this guy got a machine gun on the plane, but he stood up, man, he said, everybody get on the fucking ground. Nobody look at my face. <laughs> I started freaking out. Cause he was Chinese. I was like, why is he talking like that? <laughs> he was screaming and crying. I was the only brother on the plane. Well, I, I thought I was the only brother. I looked over, there was one other black dude. He was from Nigeria. I looked over at him, he was looking right in my face, man. He didn't say two words to me, he just looked at me, he was like. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't need to talk, I know just what he was talking about. I looked right back at him, I was like. <laughs> Some white dudes on the front of the plane seen us, they were like, oh my God. I think those black guys are gonna try to save us. <laughs> Mm -mm. <laughs> we were just communicating that we understood the situation. We were both seeing the same thing. What we understood was simple. Terrorists don't take black hostages. <laughs> That's the truth. I have yet to see one of us on the news reading the hostage letters. Um, mm. They is treating us good. Uh, we all chilling and shit. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Ray Ray and Big Steve and uh, Jason Newport. You're not gonna see it. And terrorists are smart. They know what they're doing there, you know. They terrorists. They know black people's bad bargaining chips. They called the White House. Hello? We have got five black. Hello? <laughs> He'd be back in DC. You know, I'm just thinking, man, this is, this is an election year. I'm asking you, your white guy, do you know who you're voting for yet? Don't know, do you? Now, you see that? You see what just happened here? Let me tell you something. That is a cultural thing. He knows who he's going to vote for. He's just not going to tell me. See? I've noticed that. That is a cultural thing. White people do not like to talk about their political affiliations. It's a secret. You ever ask a white guy who's voting for you? Hey, Bob, uh, Bob, who are you going to vote for? Dave, Dave. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, 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 take it easy now. Take it easy. So anyway, um, I was fucking my wife in her ass, right? And, and I mean, it was something else. Yeah, 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 but, but, but who are you voting for? Dave! Dave, come on with the voting. I'm trying to tell you about fucking my wife here. Ask me all these personal questions. They don't like to divulge that information. Because it matters to them. Black people talk about that shit. Black people openly talk about politics. Black people openly talk about beating up politicians and shit. <laughs> if I see George Bush, I'll kick his motherfucking ass for cutting my Medicaid. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Why would you say it? But there's a reason for that. Because it matters more for that. It matters more. Black people, see, see, even when I vote right, which I don't, but... but <laughs> But even when I like think about like who I would vote for, 
right? I don't even look at their political policies. I just look at their character. You know what I'm saying now? You gotta read, no, I'm serious. You gotta read between the lines. Like, you know, you look at Clinton, and black people like Clinton, because we've seen him on the campaign. I saw one thing on the campaign trail. He, he actually just picked a black baby up and kissed him. Come here, little nigger baby. Mwah! Just kiss him. I said, mm-hmm. I like that. He did not hesitate or nothing. You see George Bush Jr., he be that, ugh. Like, see, I'd never vote for George Bush Jr., but I don't know George Bush Jr.'s politics. The only thing I know about George Bush Jr. is that that guy sniffed cocaine. That's right. Now, listen, we cannot have that shit in the White House. That might be fine for a mayor, but God damn it, not in the White House. The stakes are too high in the White House. Can't have no coke here president. Mm -mm. He be selling nuclear secrets for twenty, thirty dollars and shit. He be in meetings embarrassing America. Come on, sign the treaty, baby. I suck your dick. Like what the? Uh, Mr. President, that is not how we do business here, sir. Stop sucking the ambassador's dick. Uh, no, let him finish. I will sign the treaty. There will be peace in Israel, finally. I'd vote for Clinton again if I could. At least it's always been... Now again, I'm not looking at his politics. Don't know what his politics are. I'm just looking at his behavior. I understand that kind of behavior. I know a lot of dudes with them shortcomings. Weed smoking fornicators, there's a lot of them. I mean, come on now, let's, let's be honest, let's, let's be honest. Bill Clinton was not the first president to do what he did. Now, now let's just, let's just Let's, let's think back for a minute. Remember a guy named, named Kennedy, John F. Kennedy? Remember him? He fucked Marilyn Monroe. Matter of fact, him and his brother Bobby fucked Marilyn Monroe. And history doesn't talk about that much. You know why history doesn't talk about that much? Because those two pages in history are stuck together. <laughs> they, they was getting it on. They were getting it on. I seen the tapes. Remember the tapes? She'd be singing on there. She'd just party, stressing them out. Happy birthday, Mr. President. <laughs> Bitch, my family's here. Mm. Clinton did the same thing, but he didn't do it like that. Because it's the year 2000, he's busier than Kennedy was. He was a busy man. Clinton did that kind of thing the way busy men do it. You know what busy men do? They fuck who's close to them. I can tell that's what Clinton was up to. It looked like he just stuck his head out the office door and shit. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> you, you, come here, come here. I made my penis up for my 3.30, come on. Oh, boy. <laughs> He's probably looking at Kennedy's picture and shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and at the top it off, he... Comedy is just something else. There's people throwing some truths, people throwing... Uh, certain things just for fun and I mean, it's just beyond me you know uh, some things uh, people and Dave was actually young here you know people have different 
humor. I feel like I'd laugh at some of these things off camera a lot. But then not to offend certain people, sometimes you have to um, just adjust yourself and see what you have to do. I mean, just watch and listen. Let me know what you guys actually think about this clip. Do you think it's funny? Did you find this video funny? Or what exactly? Um, I haven't watched his show in a long, long time. I think I've watched one. Just one. But I'll surely check out Netflix to see if what he's been up to. So let me know what you think down below. If there's a video you want me to react to, let me know down below. Just give me the name or the link and I'll check it out. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next reaction video.